Can a beastly gaming laptop also become your developer dream machine? Today I'm going to find out if this laptop, the Lenovo Legion Pro 7, ultra powered by your uh, RTX 5080 graphics and I'm going to dual boot Ubuntu and because I'm going to install my full stock development tools like Dockers, VS Code, Node.js and see how this is going to run. So let's dive right in. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here's the deal. So this laptop is exclusively built for gaming but I wanted to see if this could be a powerhouse for developers. So if you are into developing, you would have heard of Docker's Kubernetes and stuff. So this is for machine learning. I'm just so curious to see how this can be set as a dual booted OS and it can be used for your uh, coding as well. In this journey, I'll cover uh, setting up your dual boot, installing Ubuntu, configuring your drivers, installing Docker's VS Code, Node.js with NPM and we'll see the testing performance. So by the end of this video, you will know whether if it is worth the buy for your workflow or if it is just the gaming beast. So the first thing that we need to do is like we need to prepare this laptop for Ubuntu. So the first thing is to take up the important files. So this is a brand new laptop. I've just bought it like yesterday. So there's no data in this. I'm going to absolutely use it for my development purposes. So I'm going to like either freeze wipe it or I'm going to make it as like dual disk. So what I'll first do is I'll do a shrink of my uh, C drive. I'll just make it as like 50-50 because this hard drive has got like one terabyte of storage. So the first thing to do before even you start Ubuntu is to back up your file. So this is a brand new PC for me. So I can completely ignore that. I can even format it too. But this has got the original version of Windows uh, 11 Home Edition single license along with uh, the MS Office 2024 license. So I want to keep the uh, licenses intact. So what I'll do is I'll try installing that as a secondary OS on this laptop for which I'm going to uh, resize my computer partition. So uh, what I do is I go to my manage where I'll be able to see my um, disk. So in the disk management, I'll be able to shrink this volume. So I've got a one terabyte of storage here. So this I could uh, compress that into half the value. So maybe I'll use 50% uh, of that to uh, Windows and the other 50% to Linux to install Ubuntu. So I'll uh, resize it here. The next thing that I have to do is like I need to download the Ubuntu. So uh, what I'll do is I can download Ubuntu from uh, the Ubuntu official website. So after going there, take the option as um, take the option as Ubuntu download desktop. So you can choose the LTS version or you can choose the most recent version, which is your 25. So the LTS version is the uh, ideal one because that comes up with your um, five years of free security and maintenance updates. So I'm trying to just download this one. So after you uh, download this, the download should start immediately. And once you complete the download, you can burn it into a USB drive. So for this purpose, I'm going to use a USB drive, which is um, roughly about um, 32 GB of storage. A 16 GB of storage should be enough as well. And you can burn it into your USB with the help of your uh, Rufus or uh, you can even use Ventoy. So for this purpose, I'm going to use Rufus, click on this and I'm going to download this, take the standard version. And after that, what I do is I open this. So it asks me with an option of uh, choosing my device. So I'm going to connect my um, USB drive now. So after I've connected my USB drive, the USB drive shows up in this and I'll be able to choose my uh, boot partition drive. So I'm going to choose the ISO of uh, Linux that I've downloaded. So choose the ISO file here and you'll be able to take the formatting option. You can choose the uh, start and uh, it will start burning up your Linux Ubuntu into the pen drive. So once you've got your uh, bootable installer ready, next comes the fun part. You just need to uh, go into your BIOS and then uh, disable your secure boot for which what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the laptop and I'm going to hit the uh, F2 button on this. That's the one which helps you to boot in Lenovo laptops. The Legion should do the same mostly. So I press F2 now. Okay, so once I'm in the uh, BIOS settings, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to disable the uh, secure boot and uh, we have got option of uh, dynamic graphic choosing from here in the Windows OS. The same should be retained to uh, your Ubuntu as well. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to choose the Windows boot manager. So I'm going to choose which one is going to be my first bootable device. If it's going to be my pen drive or if it's going to be my Windows boot manager. So I'm going to just move my Windows Manager down. I'm going to make the first priority as my uh, USB device. And um, 
to take the more options here where I'll be able to choose um, USB boot is enabled and the fast boot settings are disabled. So once you have chosen your uh, boot priority, just press F10 that will save your uh, settings and just restart now. So once you uh, reboot, you get an option to try or install Ubuntu. You can uh, take the option as a try or install Ubuntu. It takes up some time to load up your uh, genome your graphic uh, UI of uh, Linux. So Ubuntu is starting to install on this. Okay, it loads up this main screen. I'll leave the timestamps in the video so that's easier for you to uh, choose the uh, exact sections that you need because this video is going to be a bit extensive. So choose your language and um, everything seems to be fine in accessibility. I choose the keyboard and connect to the internet. This is very essential because uh, we need to uh, download all your NVIDIA drivers and all the compatible drivers for this laptop. So I'm just going to um, connect to my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to choose the option as uh, install or try. I'll take the option as install. Take it as interactive installation. Take it as default selections or you can choose the apps later as well. And this is the important part that you need to do. Uh, it's asking with an option to install the recommended uh, proprietary softwares. So install all third-party softwares for graphics and Wi-Fi hardwares. And if at all you need to uh, download uh, other uh, additional media formats, you can download this option as well. Or you can try installing VLC Media Player later. That will help you to install up your MP3, MPEG4, Codex and all the other books. So uh, it's giving me an option as uh, should I install Ubuntu alongside your Windows Boot Manager or uh, should I erase the disk and install Ubuntu as a fresh. So do note on this, I'm going to partition my drive from one terabyte. I'm going to change into this. That's going to be my primary partition where I'll be having my uh, Windows running up. Then I'm going to have my other partition which is going to be formatted as uh, ext4 which is going to be used as my drive for linux i'm going to download all the proprietary softwares for all the drivers and compatible things and hit that install button it takes up some time it will copy things from your installer and uh, it will try to download the additional uh, softwares from online so now we've got your ubuntu installed on the computer the reason why I chose the LTS is the, because uh, they give you the long-term support for all your drivers and all your uh, other accessories, hardwares, if you're at all you have to connect to the computer or be it softwares or driver updates and stuff. So after that, click on, um, click on restart now. So once you hit the restart now, you have to remove your USB drive and then press enter. So it gives you the option to uh, choose Ubuntu. Just take the option as Ubuntu. So it's loading Ubuntu for the first time. So the first thing that you need to do once your OS is loaded is to update all the uh, drivers and all the other additional uh, softwares inside it. So this is my Ubuntu um, UI. So you can activate Ubuntu Pro if at all you plan to have uh, 10 years of uh, service package or you want to deploy it to five different machines and you can use this as a server with all the additional features. So you can click on App Center that will help you to install a lot of apps in, from the App Store or you can close this and you can install them later as well. So I'll keep it minimized for now. The first First thing that I'm going to do is like I'm going to install my uh, uh, apps. So if you're coming from your Windows environment, you will be able to uh, see your uh, taskbar is on the left side. So what you can do is like um, you can change the um, display settings options. The first thing that I can do from here is like uh, my laptop is uh, coming up with a refresh rate of 240 hertz. As I'm going to use this only for my uh, development purpose I don't need the 240 hertz display so I'm going to change it to 60 hertz so this will help me to save a lot of battery on the laptop so hit that apply it's giving me a very poor resolution so I'll revert back the changes now I'll have to install my uh, Nvidia drivers and update all of them then they should get sorted out and um, so take the option as Ubuntu desktop and uh, you can choose the option as uh, the dock Take it as bottom so that you get everything moved to the bottom here so that you get acquainted to it more like your windows screen you can move your icons to here the first thing that you have to do is like go to your uh, command prompt and start your uh, updates so for which what i'm going to do is like i'm going to go to my terminal so click on terminal so in the terminal i'm going to use my sudo and i take app and i take it as update so it will ask me for the password of this laptop so it's trying to find out all the uh, available updates in the laptop. So it shows up uh, some of the um, 
there are nine dependency files or packages that could be upgraded so i just take the option as uh, upgrade now it'll ask me that it wants to install something press yes and it will complete the installation okay that's it so we've completed the installation now the next thing that you need to do is like uh, install up your nvidia proprietary drivers so for which uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my additional drivers take the additional drivers option so here it shows up your uh, nvidia corporation and uh, the list of drivers which are available and um, things that you can uh, install on this laptop so it shows like one proprietary device is in use now which has been already tested so it's better to use this because that's going to give you the best performance and that's it you have your uh, driver ready for the 5080 graphics card the next one that i'm going to do is like i'm going to install uh, vs code and all the other tools that are required for my development so uh, to install docker what i do is i just go to my uh, docker site or you can download it from the command prompt as well or you can try from the app store too so go to the app center and search for uh, docker so I'm installing my docker then at the same time I can install my um, VS code too. So if you guys need an uh, command version of uh, installing all of this I can leave the, uh, the sudo commands in the, command, in the comment section. So I'm installing node.js too. So you can download docker from the official docker website. Take the option as Ubuntu and uh, you can do the command prompt version of um, docker so for which first what i need to do is uh, i need to download my um, docker desktop version so first download your uh, the debian package file and i'll just take the sudo command from here so i go to my terminal and i just try to uh, paste the code so it asks for a password so I just do my uh, sudo apt-get update and after that I just copy this file and paste it in my command prompt. So what I do is I uh, install uh, docker from the downloaded Debian file. So when this doesn't work what I'll use is I'll use the Debian package installer code. Let me try installing that way. It says there is no such file. Let me move it back to the downloads. It says the docker dependency files are missing here. Um, we've got VS code installed here. So I can keep cancel for now. So that's your VS code. Now that I have got uh, dockers and VS code all set up, let me try running up my docker. I'll take it as docker compose up. And uh, when I just try to see it, you can see that the CPU usage is like trying to shoot up now. I'm trying to, um, I'll just try to up it now. So once I give it Docker Compose up, you could see the spike in the CPUs. But it is uh, really good because I don't see up any uh, excessive usage on any of these cores. I could just see only uh, one or two percent of them being used. And uh, once the containers loads up, you could see that the uh, spikes automatically come down. And let me try, try running up NPM Run Watch as well. And um, the NPM watch is again uh, spiking up the CPU. This is where the uh, core uh, powerful CPUs boost up. And once they are done, uh, it automatically subsides to the uh, efficient uh, CPUs. Uh, this uh, processor is equipped with that. So that's one good thing about uh, this Ultra 9 processor. It is... Um, capable of performing both uh, intensive task as well as uh, battery optimizing tasks. So this is so powerful. Now you could see that the uh, CPU usage is like really less in this case. And um, I've got about uh, just a 30% of RAM being used and uh, there's nothing in the swap. So that's a good thing again here. I'll also set up Git for version control and uh, Python for data science. So if you're into AI and ML, you can install CUDA as well as uh, PyTorch. So this RTX uh, 5080 will absolutely crush deep every learning workload. So you saw the powerfulness of it, how efficient it was. So uh, if you guys had a fresh Ubuntu install, what's your first development tool you would set up? VS Code or Docker or Node.js or something else? Drop in your comments below. So uh, coming to the uh, final uh, verdict, like how does this Ubuntu uh, actually perform on a Legion Pro 7 Ultra 9? Honestly, this is like butter smooth. 
apps launch instantly, Docker containers run extremely fast, and VS Code feels really snappy, and Node.js development with NPM watch is like super responsive, and even GPU intensive tasks are running without any hiccups. So thanks to this uh, proprietary NVIDIA drivers. Uh, the only flaw which I would face here is the sound cards. The sounds aren't that very perfect. So we need to just wait for the next updates from the NVIDIA team. So um, the trackpad gestures are also not really that great. So that's most, uh, mostly expected in all Linux installs. So the Legion 7 Pro Ultra with the RTX uh, 5080 is just a gaming monster. It's also a serious developer's machine when it is paired with Ubuntu. So if you are into coding, then Docker's, Node.js or AAML, dual booting uh, with Linux on this laptop is a game changer. So that's what I'm feeling with this and that's how I've been using this laptop now. And if you find this video really helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more such deep dive tech setups and let me know in your comments uh, if you would like to cover up uh, some more Linux gaming on uh, RTX 5080. Uh, I'll try installing up some games and we'll see how this uh, Ubuntu runs up on that. And thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.